Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about some more user creation activities. We're going to head on into the user section of the admin center and we're going to move across and we're going to take a look at the more section. Now clicking on more gives you the manage custom attributes section. Now, for example, we're given an awful lot of items which we can populate within our user record members, employee numbers, and the like. There's loads. Who's your manager? But what if you want to make things a little bit more personal? What if you want to add a custom attribute to your user's profile, which they can populate? They haven't got to, but it would be nice to know. For example, I don't know, hobbies. So, hobby, right? Description. What do people do outside of work? Okay, so you can have a name, um, I say activity. What info type do you want? Text, visibility, uh, make it available to the user and the admin or to the whole organization. I just think, you know, to the user and admin for, you know, um, compliancy and data protection. Number of values, um, let's just say a single value. All right, um, and then say add. Right, and here we go, look. View and manage a user's profile attributes. We've got all the contact details you would normally have. Um, alternate email addresses and all this other good stuff that you can populate. But now we have hobby, which you can then ask your people to populate or populate via bulk user creation in a CSV. Wouldn't it be interesting to know that? Perhaps some of your employees might be part-time lecturers or scuba divers or paragliders or you know um, might be a member of a 3d printing community for example you know all these things depending on your business could play to your employees strengths again um, if you were in game creation and you're working on like a particular game and you knew people played a particular game like World of Warcraft for example then they would be a good thing to match them up with their activity to a project. Someone once said that if work didn't seem like work then it wasn't work at all. Anyway food for thought that's custom attributes and how they could be populated as well. Other admin ad, admin actions that could be populated with this uh, could come from links into other cloud services like uh, Microsoft 365 and the like. When you join two organizations together, there'd be an awful lot of custom attributes that would come across as well. Anyway, that was a quick lesson on how to use manage uh, custom attributes in Google Admin and in G Suite. So um, use them or don't use them. Have a think about it. They can be added at any time and also populated up with bulk user creation and a CSV file. It just might be something to add a little bit more personality that when your manager is a one-to-one -one with you, um, that they can look at your, your profile and that profile will say, hey, he's an avid scuba diver. And as a result of which, there may be an affinity between the employee and the employer. Thanks for watching. Check back for more videos in the series.